Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, The Black Widow here. So today is going to be something pretty fun. We are going to do basically a collection tour. We are going to go through everything that I have. I have two new additions which are pretty exciting. I will show you them first. This is going to come in stages so I'm going to do my snakes first. Then I'll move on to my spiders. I might do sort of juveniles, then adults, or maybe arboreals versus terrestrials. Um, and then I'll show you my other inverts. I also wanted to say that this week coming, I believe on the Tuesday, I have a massive, the biggest unboxing video I have ever done, and it's from the spider shop. And it's not. I've not just got something coming from them. I've also got something coming from... Um, from a guy that I purchased from online. I've also got something else coming from somebody else. I've basically just got a whole host of stuff coming, some enclosures and some new additions. I sold a lot of my slings um, because I'm moving away from slings. They, um, you know, they take a really long time to grow. I prefer the juvenile size or adult size. So we are gonna jump straight in and I'm gonna start off by introducing you to my brand new additions. So let's jump straight in. Right, so right here is my first new addition. This is my baby reticulated python. He is a super dwarf. His name is Ferguson, and as you can see, he's really not very happy with me right now. I'm actually going to be getting him out and putting him into this enclosure. I'm obviously going to move his hide and things like that because this new enclosure has a lockable lid and this one has escaped from me twice. I am wearing my glove because this one is a little bit snappy at the moment and he's not particularly happy about being handled. Um, so I will try to go and go ahead. He does bite. So if you usually, you put your, see, <laughs> come on, stop that. Come on. He's not happy at all with me. Come on. Sometimes if you just allow them to tire themselves out. So he's a really, 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 really grumpy boy. And he's giving me a bit of a hard time getting him out. Um, he's just not happy with me at all. And every time I put my hand in, he's striking. So I'm going to get him out and try and move him quick. Okay, so this is my other new baby, which I've called Odette. She's a little more skittish than the male retic. She comes out quite nicely, but that doesn't mean that she can't also be a little frightened. She's only a baby also, and she prefers to be covered up like this. So I'll see if I can get closer. So this female is a... Um, I, I had that the wrong way around. Ferguson is het for purple and this little beauty here is a super dwarf reticulated python and she is a um hello beautiful sorry guys I'm just I just have to keep my eye on her because um she will bite if she feels really really threatened but as you can see, she's absolutely stunning. She's a lovely, lovely girl. She's just very, very nervous. They're still getting used to their, to their new home. But as you can see, she's a lot more chilled than he is. And um, yeah, so he is het for purple super dwarf. And Odette is a lavender. Ooh. Uh, Odette is a lavender. And she's so pretty. Hello. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put her back. So that's Odette, my second newest addition. So I have two baby super dwarf reticulated pythons. So let's move on to my ball pythons. This is Pogo and he is a banana ball python. And he is also 100% VPI exanthic. He is also very, very nippy. A lot of my snakes are not being very friendly to me today. And, um, <laughs> yeah, he's not a very nice, he's not a very nice um, ball python at the moment. But again, as you can see, he's only a baby. And that's pretty common with um, baby snakes. They are very, 
very nervous little animals. All right. <laughs> so I will put him back because he's not happy with me mucking around with him. I think it's also coming up to feeding time. Um, and while I don't mind taking a bite, I'd, I'd rather avoid it, if I'm perfectly honest. I mean, it's the same as with anything. If you can avoid a bite, it's better that you do. You don't want bites to put you off handling your snakes. And I've been bitten by a very large um, Burmese python at one point in my life. And I can tell you that wasn't fun. But if you watch any other people interacting with their snakes, you try to avoid being bitten. That's that's just the way that it is because um, it's not so much the bite that hurts. The bite is really not that bad at all. And maybe I'll do a video showing you what it's like to be bitten because it's really not a big deal. Um, but I just think that careful handling um, and avoid taking a bite is best. I don't want them to think that it's okay to bite, but I also don't want to encourage the biting. So that's Pogo, my banana ball python, 100% 100% het VPI exanthic. And the exanthic line is a beautiful line, which I will um, go into more um, when it comes to breeding at some point. But he's only a baby right now, so he won't be breeding. Right, so let's move on. Right, moving on. This is Khaleesi. And as you can see, she's got a bit of a head wobble. This is pretty common with the spider gene. And this girl is a beautiful queen bee ball python which is spider lesser pastel and i'm hoping that this girl one day will give me babies she's got quite a severe inverted head wobble as you can see that's really really common with the um with the spider gene is that they will go inverted um but she should she should be okay so that's khaleesi this boy here looks fairly similar and this boy is pogo his not pogo this is drogo my ball my banana is called pogo this one is called drogo and he is khaleesi's mate um because this guy is um a calco lesser and when you breed a calco lesser with a um queen bee or um which also has the lesser gene in it there is obviously a possibility that you will get some um some blue-eyed leucistics or lucies as they more um you know as they call them in the in the trade which is basically an all-white snake with blue um with bright blue eyes this guy is the docilest one that i have in my collection he's an absolute sweetheart um as you can see and he's really really pretty as well i love getting this one out because he's just so lovely so moving on Okay, so guys, this is Aria, and she is a phantom pastel. Um, she's also a right sweetheart. She's got a pretty decent food response, um, but she's always super inquisitive, and she's a really good size. And she will be paired to the last ball python that I'm about to show you. Um, and because I like the phantom line, and I, I do think that the phantom line is really, really lovely. She's a sweetheart, but she's got a pretty mean food response. So when I initially go into her enclosure, she can be pretty aggressive. Um, but that doesn't usually last long once she comes out. So that's Aria. And last, but certainly not least, is Rhaegar. And he is a male uh, and he is a phantom spider. So he is phantom like the last one that I just showed you. But she is not spider. She's pastel. And this one is spider. And if you go back and look at the um, the sort of the video, you will be able to compare the pattern difference. Um, he's a typical ball python. He just balls up like this and kind of lets you do what he wants. He's a really, really good chunky size. I mean, if you compare him to me, he's he's quite... He's quite a decent size. Um, so yeah, guys, that concludes the uh, snake section. So in total, I have seven snakes. So that concludes this part of the snakes. So that is all seven of my snakes that you have now met. Some that will be going into breeding, some that will not. And I will be uh, back shortly with the spider half of this uh, video.